here's a tutorial on how to connect your iPod any kind of iPod you got iPod to a old car stereo that does not have an auxiliary input give me a second okay here's my stereo as you can see it doesn't have an auxiliary input but there's a way to connect your iPod to these stereos. What you do is you open it, unscrew the frame, whatever's holding your car stereo. And if you look in the back, there's two holes. There's a red and white, which I believe are audio. I'm not too sure, but. So what you do is go to any audio store and you need a specific cable to connect your iPod. Make sure that one end has red and white and the other end goes straight to your iPod, the auxiliary. So it converts red and white audio inputs to auxiliary, just one that goes into your iPod. So all you have to do is connect these two. Red in the red slot, white in the white slot. Okay, connect those things. Put my stereo back in. Okay. Okay, now I have this this cable hanging out of there. It looks really ugly, but you can always fix that problem later by drilling a hole in the frame or making it come out of the glove compartment. So now I have this cable sticking out, and all you do is connect this to your iPod. face of the stereo that was stupid all right it's on now let's turn this bad boy on One bad thing about doing this is that you're pretty much bypassing the EQs of the car stereo. So you cannot adjust the volume of the music through your car stereo. You have to adjust it through your iPod. Wait, let's see. I don't know. Okay, let's turn it on. I'm lowering down the volume. So pretty much you have to have some decent speakers for it to be loud enough. But other than that, you save a few bucks and you don't have to buy a new car stereo. You can just buy this cable and you're all set to go. See ya.